Hello fellow guitar players. Picks. Very difficult to make a video about picks, but I decided to do it in this case. Because A, the guy who's distributing in, the, in Germany, uh, Nico, is a very nice guy and asked me nicely. And secondly, uh, oh, he's uh, he paying me a little bit of money for this, uh, which is, you know, nice. Uh, but I actually did notice a considerable difference with the picks that I'm showing you. And what I'm showing you is an Achat pick. Now, in English, Achat, A-C-H-A-T, a chat. Like on Facebook. Let's have a chat. Hey, you like a pic? Yeah, sure. I'd like a pic. Let's have a chat about it. And hey, let's see. How do you say a hat in English? It's it's a stone. She doesn't. Thank God she's pretty. So, it's a stone, and uh, that's what it looks like. Highly polished. And I, I got these and I was like, what the crap? Because this one is very thick. And some of you might know that I'm playing these, which are chicken picks. And the one difference, I mean, this is obviously maybe about the size of the thickness of this, roughly. Okay. I also played some th thicker ones. But the main difference is that this chicken pick, as you can see, has a relatively sharp edge, which is why the attack is very sharp. And on this, as you can see, it's completely rounded off. And what happens is exactly what you think. The attack is smoothed, smoothened. But that could be a good thing. I had the reaction of like, this is not going to be good. And then I played them and was like, wait, it's so easy to play fast. And like for the, for the shredder, wow, because it's a very smooth but hard surface. So it easily glides over the string while not being sharp because of the roundness. And then uh, my buddy Jan came by and I handed him the pick and he's like, well, I, I wanna, I'm not going to be able to play with that. And he had the exact same reaction. He played and he's like, whoa, I thought this would be impossible, but... It's so easy to play. So, um, full disclosure, let's do this before we get into some sounds. Uh, the thinner one I played in some video and I was doing some um, uh, funky thing. And it snapped in two. And then it looked like this. And that can't be because these things are not inexpensive. I think they're like 20 bucks, 70 bucks, whatever. It's not an inexpensive pick. And I uh, talked to Nico and he contacted the company. They're made in uh, Italy. And obviously, should this happen, because it's a, it's a stone, it might have microfractures that they can't see. It's not guaranteed. Should this happen, of course you get a replacement. Because obviously this shouldn't break from normal use. Okay? You drive over with your car, that's your fault. So let me get a couple of attack sounds here with this Schecter Nick Johnston HSS thing that I'm reviewing. With my typical chicken pick. Of course, going into the Tone King, Sky King with the Ox with the 412 Queenback Loaded Cap. I don't think you can hear it, but the feel obviously for me is very different. Let's get some single notes with this. There's a very high attack frequency. There's a very high frequency that all of a sudden goes away. It does smooth out the top end. It does, even though it's stone. Weird, huh?
Ooh, also more mids with the uh, chicken pig. Let's go to the very thick one. And they're very slippery because it's all polished. And it's thick and the edges are rounded and you think, oh, it's so difficult to play. But for shreddy stuff, absolutely not. Because it glides. It glides so easily over the strings. Let's get some gain here. Now it's weird to play with the chicken pig. So yeah, I think if you want to go shreddy and play faster and smoother, this Achat stuff, this precious stone is pretty damn cool. Now, it does kind of feel as if it wants to get away from you because it's very slippery. Now, they have this version, and it looks like what they did is they taped some skateboard grip tape to it from both sides, which is a clever way to make it extremely non-slip. I don't think it's the best idea. I wish they had taken it the normal stone and just roughed it up a little bit. I don't know if you can do that, uh, but because just touching it's like, uh, it's like nails on chalkboard. And if you do this, I don't even want to do it. This is like sandpaper in your mouth. And you're gonna hold your pick in your mouth somehow. If it gets to your teeth, this is gonna shave off your teeth. So. It is absolutely more grippy. But it just, it feels dangerous. I don't even want to have it on the table because it's going to scratch up my nice table. Um, I wish they would just uh, sand this a little bit more. So I think 
if you want to find a different inspiration, you want to find a different way of playing uh, around, I don't know, 20 bucks or whatever, isn't going to break the bank. It might be money down the drain because you say, it uh, doesn't do anything for me. It might be some way say, this is cool. It's my new pick. It's exactly what I thought about the chicken picks when I first got them. I was like, what's the point? And then now I play them all the time. And now I actually can't decide. Do I want to pick up my chicken pick again? Or do I want to play this? Because it's really fast. Of course, you have to you know, practice, which I don't. So, uh, pretty cool, they're stone, um, they're from Italy, apparently they're handmade, that's why you pay the price. You might find a pick that inspires you, you might waste a couple bucks. But, come on, we've, we've bought much stupider stuff. So I'm going to put some links below, you can get them in Germany here now, uh, through Nico's distribution. Uh, thank you for commissioning this video, it's always a pleasure to try new things. Uh, thank you, Leslie, for switching, and we're going to put some animals at the end.